Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to 9 months Q3 FY24 results conference call of Veer Healthcare Limited hosted by Kirin Advisors. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Ms. Chandni Chande from Kirin Advisors. Thank you and over to you, ma'am. Thank you. On the behalf of Kirin Advisors, I welcome you all to the conference call of Fear Healthcare Limited. From management side, we have Mr. Bhavin Shah, Managing Director, Mr. Akash Shah, Chief Financial Officer. Now I hand over the call to Mr. Akash Shah. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and thank you for joining us today for Weir Healthcare Limited's inaugural conference call to discuss the financial performance of third quarter and nine months of financial year 24. I extend a warm welcome to each one of you. Before we delve into the specifics of nine months and third quarter financial year 24, let me provide a brief overview of Weir Healthcare Limited. We are a manufacturer and supplier of Ayurvedic medicines, oral care products, and personal care products. Our state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Vapi, Gujarat, is designed to comply with international requirements, ensuring validated systems and adherence to stringent quality standards. Under the expert guidance of renowned Vaidya Dr. Vinod C. Mehta and formulation expert Dr. Rajiv Viru, we produce research-based quality products that encompass a wide range of healthcare, oral care, and personal care items. Our certifications include Ayurvedic and Cosmetic GMP, ISO 9001-2015, and Authorized Economic Operator T1 Certificate, testified to our commitment to manufacturing excellence. Our focus on delivering high-quality Ayurvedic herbal and cosmetic healthcare and personal care products under the renowned brand IUV has been instrumental in driving substantial revenue and profit growth. We take pride in providing holistic wellness solutions while upholding the highest standards of quality and compliance. I am particularly proud to share that We Healthcare Limited has recently received the US FDA Labeler Code Allocation, a significant milestone that underscores our dedication to quality and regulatory excellence. This achievement further solidifies our position in the global healthcare market as we continue to strive towards delivering premium healthcare solutions worldwide. Now let me take you through company's financial performance during 9 months financial year 24. In the 9 months financial 24 period, our company exhibited strong financial performance with total income reaching uh, 11.07.95 lakhs, marking a commendable year-on-year -year growth of 5.48%. EBITDA surged to 111.63 lakhs, showcasing a robust year-on-year -year growth of 45.74%, accompanied by an increase in EBITDA margin to 10.63%. Reflecting our operational efficiency and focus on profitability, net profit shows a notable year-on-year -year growth of 67.36% to 53.37 lakhs with net profit margin expanding to 5.33%, underscoring our commitment to prudent financial management and maximizing shareholder value. These results demonstrate our resilience, strategic initiatives, and dedication to sustainable growth, positioning as well for continued success and value creation for our stakeholders. Thank you for your attention and I am now open to taking any questions you may have. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 on their touchstone phone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and 2. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, We'll wait for a moment while the question queue assembles.
The first question is from the line of Yashwan from Coach in Finvis. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you, sir. And congratulations for the setup and that. So I just wanted to understand your business model. You said we have a plant at Vapi Gujarat. So what is the capacity we have? What products we manufacture over there? How many products we have under each category? And do we also uh, get this contract manufacturing done for somebody, from someone? Or we do contract manufacturing for someone? Uh, good morning, everybody. This is Bhavin Shah. Uh, I'll be taking the questions. Yeah, thank you. Ma'am, uh, hi, Ashwini. Uh, we are manufacturers for herbal and cosmetic formulations, having a GMB certified plant at Wapi. Okay. So we are having three different categories of uh, production lines. Uh, first is the herbal, that is Ayurvedic uh, category. Second is the cosmetic uh, category, and third is the disinfectant category. Okay. Under Ayurvedic, uh, we are doing oral liquid, tablets, powder, and ointment. These are the four categories uh, we are covering under Ayurvedic license. So, under this, we are having chronic as well as uh, non-chronic uh, range of products. Okay. In this category, uh, we are doing uh, contract manufacturing for a brand called uh, Babulin Pharma. We are doing contract manufacturing for dry water on a good volume. Second is our uh, cosmetic uh, range of products. Under that, we are having uh, oral care, hair care, skin care, body care, uh, those segments of products. And we have a brand called Ayurveda, under which uh, we are covering the entire range of segment. In all, we have at the moment about 42 uh, product lines, and we are covering all the categories under cosmetic license. In this, we are doing contract manufacturing for leading brands like Apollo Pharmacy, mm -hmm. and that is Dava India. Then the, we are also doing contract manufacturing for exports in oral care at the moment. For example, for uh, Apollo uh, Apollo Pharmacy, we are doing oral care, we are doing two, uh, five, six variants of toothpaste, we are doing shampoo, conditioners. So that is the thing we cover for Apollo Pharmacy. Okay. Under disinfectant, uh, we are having a floor cleaner and other fabric disinfectants, which we are doing uh, contract manufacturing for a private label. So this is the product range we cover uh, under three categories. We have a 60,000 square feet uh, built-up area covering this uh, entire segment. Oh, so, so we'll be having all this content with uh, the manufacturing setup at, uh, at your area 60,000 uh, square feet? I'm not able to hear you correctly. <laughs> so all this thing, all these three uh, verticals which, will be ha which you are having, so we have the three different business uh, manufacturing segment at your plant, right? Yes, all in uh, one facility itself. Okay, and that is your own mansion? Yes, yes, all these are our own uh, manufacturers. We are, we do not, we are the contract manufacturers for other brands. Uh, we do not deal, uh, we do not get any brands uh, contract manufactured in the market. We are the company who does the market for, for our range of products and we are doing contract manufacturing privately for other brands. Okay. So can you just help me understand what would be the margin difference for your own uh, manufacturing product which you market it and the uh, product which you do as a contract manufacturer? How would, what is the difference between the margin? Since at this moment we are growing the brand uh, that is IUB, so right now our margins are about uh, 12 to 15 percent in our own brand and contract manufacturing is about 8 to 10 percent. Okay, so there it is a volume gift. I, uh, if you I, I, you know, voice is not clear, man. So there it is a volume game, I said. Yes, exactly. Okay, and how, what is the capacity utilization at the current level? When you already have our own hand, you are also doing the manufacturing. So how how much is our capacity utilized till date? In herbal section, uh, leaving out the tablet, we are utilizing about eighty percent of the capacity, and under cosmetic, we are utilizing about uh, seventy to eighty percent of uh, the entire capacity. So that is sale date? Yes. So it's quite possible that by the end of the year you will be utilizing the full capacity. So are you looking to expand your capacity? Yes. Uh, recently uh, we got our registration through uh, with uh, the US FDA okay. and uh, now we are qualified 
to uh, manufacture and supply variety range of products for uh, one of our customer in US okay it is in the correction industry Mm-hmm. So over there, uh, first phase we are going to cover is oral care, that is toothpaste. And uh, going forward, we are going to uh, continue with uh, body care and skin care range of products. So it's a volume game there again. And uh, we are through with the uh, first part. We are we are starting with two variants uh, by the end of this month. Mm-hmm. And uh, going forward uh, in the next financial year, we are going to have a expansion. of uh, multiple manufacturing lines we have also expanded uh, our in house testing facility our in house air facility everything uh, is done by now so with this qualification and with this new market opening uh, we see a good expansion in coming year so do you have some plans on on paper or maybe in your mind like how much capacity you want to expand go in a by 20 size And how it will be funded? So, is it possible to fund it from the internal sources, or you need to raise funds from a market, or you have to go for a debt? The board has uh, decided to uh, raise the new equity with the uh, right issue. See, our expansion plan um, is about uh, at this moment uh, we are having an uh, investment of about twelve hundred lakhs, and further expansion we are planning is thirty three hundred. So this would be raised by 3300, 33 crores. Yeah, okay. In this, we are planning to have an equity raise of 25 CR by way of right issue. Our preference is that is uh, decision yet to be made. And uh, 8 crore we are going to raise by term loan. In this, we are going to cover land building, uh, plant machinery, and uh, furniture sales. Okay. So if I take two more questions, I just wanted to understand this. So what is the contribution to the revenue from our own brand sales and the from the contract manufacturing? This is one. And secondly, I just wanted to understand what is the contribution to the revenue from your domestic sales and export sales? Contribution to revenue in uh, domestic sales is about twenty uh, percent. Export sales is about uh, you can say sixty-five percent, and this is contract manufacturing. Okay. Up till now, we are having captive customers in East Africa. We are making various brands for them, and we are doing this since uh, six, seven years. And there also there is an expansion in other different countries in East Africa, for which the registration process is going. And so, last question: Can you give guidance on the margins of selling? Currently, we are around 10.7 to around 11 percent. Own production gives you around 12 to 15 percent. Contract manufacturing gives you around 7 to 8 percent. So how the margin profile is headed for? Sir, can you please come again? I could not hear you correctly. In the current quarter, you reported the margin of around 10.75, that is around 11 percent. Right. You said on your own brand, you earn the margin uh, in the range of 12 to 15 percent. Right. While uh, on your contract manufacturing, your margin is around 7 percent uh, to 8 percent. So mm-hmm. what is your guidance or what is your outlook on the margin profile going forward? Going forward, we are going to uh, accelerate on this U.S. opportunity. What we have right now, we are covering oral care and uh, the other uh, segments. What we have already the qualified for doing it, and uh, the process is on. There, we are expecting a raise in the margins. We also have an in-house. Uh, we have done a backward integration of in-house uh, packaging material production. Line. So there we uh, are targeting to you know raise the margins and uh, come up to healthy margin levels. Oh. And what was the time on this backward integration and when it was done? It was done about uh, three months back. Okay, and what was the time on it? Sorry. How much you have spent to have this facility in house? About fifty lakhs. Okay. Okay, so thank you so much, and wish you all the best for your future. I'll join you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. And the next question is from the line of Parikshit Kabra from Piketty Advisors LLP. Please go ahead. Hi. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, of course, you know I'm very used to come. Can you take the device closer to you? The voice is a little bit muffled. Is this better? Sorry about that. Awesome. Yeah. Sorry. 
So thanks for the opportunity and uh, some very basic questions. I'm still, you know, familiarizing myself with the company. Um, uh, first of all, uh, you know, actually, of course, you started by saying that uh, there is there are two press releases out. One says that in next year you'll do about 100 crores. And another one, it says that in next three to four years, you'll do 100 crores. I just wanted to real, uh, first check which one is the correct guidance. We are targeting uh, revenue of uh, 100 crores in the next three to four years. Three to four years, not in the next one year, right? Correct. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, correct. Fair enough. Uh, secondly, um, I am not sure what the terminologies are. Uh, you have mentioned that you are uh, trying to get FDA approval. Uh, and now we have released a press release saying that we have got FDA labeler. Is this one and the same thing? Are we FDA approved now? Yes, we are registered with the labeler now. We are also, the FDA filing is also completed now. And the next process is uh, drug registration, which is underway and expected to close this week. And is this just a mere formality or does this can also have hiccups? No, no, no. This is, uh, the first step here is... Uh, the qualification in, uh, for the manufacturing facility and you, get, you have to be eligible hmm. uh, as per the requirements of the US FDA. Then the next process is to have a registration as a labor code. To do that, uh, you need to have a confirmed captive buyer uh, in the country. So that we have identified and our buyer uh, uh, has, uh, we have finalized the uh, business contract. Hmm. So based on that, uh, our uh, registration is completed. Now, drug filing is in the process. So, the drug filing is in the process. This is probably the most complex process, right? Yes. Okay. So, and but you think that the decision will come in within a week or two? It is almost on the stage of completion. We are expecting it before. Uh, it should be done before 20th of May. Okay. Got it. Uh, understood. Next was... Um, I was just trying to understand that your current product range, the ones that you're selling with your own brand, where are you selling them? We are doing online on marketplaces like Amazon and Flipkart and through our own website. Okay. And what is the sale? What is the revenue percentage of our um, uh, for, of our own brand? Say about 15% of the total sales. Okay, got it. And the rest of it is contract manufacturing? Yes, contract manufacturing. All right, all right. So, uh, you, you know, the earlier person also asked this question in terms of margins, but uh, since our ROE has not come, even though we are almost nearly at full capacity, 80% capacity utilization, um, how, how, what is our path to increasing our rate return on equity? See, presently in this uh, manufacturing facility where we are at the moment, hmm. we have been doing our own brands and we have been also doing contract manufacturing. While doing so, you know, we put in a lot of efforts in the last two years to identify uh, a robust captive buyer and to, you know, to set it up as a big manufacturing unit, which we have completed now and we have successfully identified the buyer, got the contract, registration is getting completed. We are expected to start our first shipment uh, before we close this financial year. We are targeting to ship out at least two shipments. And uh, to get the further planning for the next commercial year. So uh, these guys, these buyers uh, are have a very huge uh, contract uh, terms. So now we are going to scale up with more manufacturing lines, more uh, automation, and get the maximum output. So are you expecting higher margins? Are you expecting operating yes. leverage to kick in? Which which element do you think is going to help you increase your rate return on equity? Uh, with increase in volume, we are also plan. We are also targeting an increase in margins and increase in revenue. Because where we are right now, and where we see ourselves in next uh, financial year and next coming two three financial years, we are in a much better position. Because we are scaling up uh, our manufacturing facility, our uh, buying strength goes up, and uh, we have a set platform to accelerate. So the export orders that you are selling, these are in your own brand or is this a contract manufacturing order? No, contract manufacturing. And uh, what are the indicative uh, margins for this contract manufacturing? About 8 to 10%. So that remains the same as your current contract manufacturing? Yes, so this will scale up once we, our two shipments are out. Mm -hmm. uh, we close this financial year. 
See, the, here the hiccup is the first uh, challenge for any company in the US is to get qualified. Mm. This is the biggest challenge everyone faces. And mm. since the trend of everybody moving from China, there is a big opportunity for a country like India. So at this moment while we are speaking, there were three top manufacturers uh, of uh, toothpaste and suppliers to US, out of which uh, two are uh, disqualified. And only one uh, uh, business house is there in trade. Yeah. And since we have also qualified, we see a big opportunity for expanding our supplies of oral care. Uh, there are six or seven, six to seven uh, big uh, corporate houses in the US who are into the detention supply and correction industry. Hmm. Challenge for them is to have a supplier who is qualified by the FDA and which is approved by the FDA. So, uh, if I were to summarize what you're saying is that uh, China, so people are trying to, uh, so far the US has been importing from China. Now that they are trying to find alternative vendors, they have looked at India. Within India, there are two, three players who can do this, but right. most of them have not been qualified by the FDA. You are on the process of getting qualified and hence you are getting a regulatory arbitrage, correct? Yeah, we are done. Our, our, our qualification process is completed. Our code mm -hmm. is registered. Our company is registered. Now just the drug filing process is going on. Okay. So Why is it so difficult? Oh, okay. Uh, see, the drug filing is, uh, suppose you are making a particular formulation. Whatever the formulation you have, uh, that needs to be filed with uh, all the supporting uh, documents. So it's a process which is done by an uh, agency, which is appointed by our registrar. Uh, which is in the U.S. So that process is going Please, you were asking something. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, that's fine. I'll um, I, what what I'll do is I'll come back in the queue uh, just to make sure that I'm not eating everyone else's time. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And the next question is from the line of Khushbu Kaur, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Hello, ma'am. Can you take the device closer to you? Hello? Is it clear now? Uh, ma'am, little bit louder. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, sir, I have a question. Like, what factors do you attribute to your 20Q decline and the net profit with falling margins? Like, so, what are the steps that the margin management is planning to improve the profitability? With the scaling up of the production line, we have pla we are planning to move on a mass scale uh, automation, which will get our uh, cost of production down. Also, uh, with the volume of buying and the uh, numbers, high numbers of uh, buying, uh, that will also help us uh, get the uh, cost of production down. Okay, and why hasn't our top line improved despite reaching the full capacity? Is like any factors that is affecting the growth? As, as I said, as of now, uh, what uh, all three divisions what we run in the current manufacturing facility are uh, at the top. Uh, we are planning to move to a new facility soon and uh, add another add another production capacity and uh, increase the top line. Okay, and do we expect the same challenges and the net profit and margins in the coming next quarter? That is fourth quarter. Do you have any plans to improve your profitability? Yes, as I said, uh, we'll be closing out uh, shipments uh, before we end this financial years, and uh, we are expecting a full plan for the next financial years also from the company. Okay. So that is going to be a biggest uh, bag. See, the whole entire stage is set. Now just have to uh, do the production process and make the dispatches on time. Okay. And how much business we get from USA and CSI countries after getting uh, Labler code from USA FDA? We are expecting a growth of at least 20%, right? This year we are targeting to close at 14.5. Uh, Next year it should be about 17. But we are hoping to add a few more uh, categories and a few more products in other categories like body care. That is also a big market uh, in the US. So that also is expected to come into business by second quarter next year. Okay. So this year we we do not see any growth. This year we we'll close at 14.5 to 15. Nice. Okay, got it. And could you provide insight into the research and development efforts to ensure uh, product relevance and quality? I can share it over email. Is it fine? 
Uh, okay, and how much revenue from body care is expecting in the next coming quarter? Approximately next quarter, I would I, I would not say next quarter. In next financial year, we can say about two point five to three crores. Okay, financial year is FY twenty four, right? Yes. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you ladies and gentlemen you may press star and 1 to ask questions the next question is on the line of ankit kumar an individual investor please go ahead hello sir hi mr ankit yeah hello sir so uh, can you elaborate on the competitive landscape in maharashtra and gujarat for over the counter and ethical products we are a herbal manufacturing company and uh, we are not uh, marketing any of our product range on uh, ethical uh, line of business we are a purely a herbal manufacturing company we do not uh, cater to any of the allopathy or uh, nutraceutical range of products okay sir so uh, what is the market demand for the companies oil shampoo ointment and toothpaste uh, toothpaste products and the current scenario we are marketing our range of products through our website and other market places like amazon flipkart uh, we are also covering uh, marketing through social media and like instagram facebook okay so we are marketing uh, our products through these channels and our majority focus is on uh, contract manufacturing okay so uh, how much business can we get from uh, government e marketplace government e marketplace we recently have completed our uh, process through qci and we have started bidding tenders so this uh, we are expecting at least uh, 1.5 to 2 crore business in the next financial year the qualification is complete uh, we are registered as an oem brand on the portal Uh, through QCI, so we have started waiting for the uh, tenders. Okay, sir. So, uh, what are the major challenges companies faces in its operations, and uh, how do you ensure regulatory compliance for its products? See, we have uh, our product consultants as uh, Mr. Rajiv Deroot, who is having vast experience in this industry of about forty years. Mm-hmm. regulatory compliance we are also appointed an agency who is going to take care of our cgmp uh, regulation and the compliance part so once we have that in place uh, mr rajiv birod and uh, mr mehta so these two people are giving us consultancy for uh, product composition and uh, formulation side okay. our our backward integration of setting up the r&d lab setting up the microbial lab we are we, uh, up till now we did not have uh, in house testing facilities and in house r&d uh, facilities but since last year we have developed uh, in house facility and we are having in house uh, r&d division as well okay sir yeah thank you thank you thank you and the next question is from the line of lata sharma an individual investor please go ahead hello hello yes, ma'am can you take the device closer to you hello thank you for the opportunity my question is what are our future growth strategies i'm not able to hear uh, you ma'am what are what are our future growth strategies uh, as i said uh, this year uh, we have got our uh, registration and qualification uh, through with the us fda we are capitalizing we are we are planning to capitalize on this uh, in the oral care category we have got the contracts in place and we have got our initial orders and registration is almost in the final stage So our future growth strategy in next three financial years will be to grow on this. 
and to expand our sales in the US market, which is a big opportunity for the company to grow in the segment. Okay, okay. So, so my next question is, uh, do do we have any business or product acquisition on card? No, we do not. Uh, all the formulations are done in house, and uh, there is no uh, formulation acquisition or any type of acquisition in this business. Okay. And what is planned expenditure on branding for next two three years? We are planning to have a fresh investment of about thirty to CR in next uh, financial two years by way of land building and plant machinery. Okay, thank you, sir. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Before we take the next question, we would like to remind participants that you may press star and one to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Raj from Arjo Partners. Please go ahead. Hello, am I audible? Yes. अच्छा तो इफ आई हॉट इट राइट सो यू सेट फॉर एफ आई ट्वेंटी फाइव तो फ्रॉम यू एस एस बी ए अप्रूवल विच यू गॉट सो यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग अ सेल ऑफ अराउंड सेवेंटीन क्रोज राइट यस अच्छा तो इज इट फॉर मार्च ट्वेंटी फोर सॉरी मार्च ट्वेंटी फोर अबाउट सेवेंटीन मार्च ट्वेंटी फाइव वी टारगेट ऑफ अबाउट थर्टी अच्छा तो इट इज फॉर द एंटायर कंपनी राइट Yes, yes, interesting. All right, and about the expansion which you announced of thirty uh, three crores, so hmm. uh, it is for FY twenty five and FY twenty six. The that's in the process. Uh, we plan to close it soon. It also depends on uh, how fast we uh, get the projections and get into the line. Since I said uh, we'll be ready with the first shipments this year. so the, uh, later uh, next year uh, in about say second quarter we be uh, confirm with the expansion plans all right and uh, it will come on stream by what time it should be in by uh, before we close march uh, 25 all right okay huh? all the best thank you thank you so much Thank you. And the next question is from the line of Parikshit Kabra from PKD Advisors LLP. Please go ahead. Hi. Thanks for taking my question again. Um, I was hoping, is it possible for you to give a little bit of a history of the company? Uh, you know, it's a it's a reasonably old company. So just wanted to understand what have you guys been doing for so far, and why have we struggled to pick up, you know, expand in India itself? We started with the herbal and cosmetic manufacturing company in Ahmedabad. Oh. wherein we had uh, initially we had only herbal uh, license wherein we did oral care oral liquid tablets ointments and powders there initially the company made their own brands and uh, marketed but uh, could not do it successfully then we switched to the contract manufacturing business and uh, we successfully got this uh, brand called mabulin pharma which is about 90 years old brand and it has a big presence in the state of gujarat so we switched to the contract manufacturing business moving forward uh, we also identified this customer uh, in east africa for with whom we started the uh, manufacturing and exporting toothpaste uh, in next two years we realized the factory was small enough uh, and we had to move to a bigger production line and we had to move to a bigger place so we moved our plant to wapi in expanding all the uh, categories and all the verticals of giving all the uh, options to the buyers we started uh, we started uh, commissioning uh, different different segments under cosmetic and under co- herbal segments so slowly slowly as time went by we started working with uh, east african buyer then uh, dawa india in uh, india then apollo pharmacy we identified with them also we've done healthy business of uh, hair care and uh, oral care business with dawa india also we are doing tablets we are doing uh, oral care we are doing uh, other cosmetic range of products 
so now we are at a stage uh, by participating different different trade shows and uh, having different different uh, experiences uh, world over we found this opportunity for registering in a mega market like us which is the biggest hub and we started working on that it took us about couple of years to get the qualification done in place and uh, to identify a buyer which is almost which is done by now and now the stage is set to accelerate and uh, make it big in this uh, contract manufacturing business got it great thank you for that and secondly i know you're not revealing the name of your us buyer but can you tell us uh, at least you know what kind of a person is he like so they are, they, they they have their own uh, toothpaste brand or are they a distributor of these kind of products um uh, how many points of sale do they have what is their distribution range what is the size of their business in these categories uh, any such details to give us a sense of what is the potential size of business from this buyer this buyer is uh, in this in the, he, is, he is a supplier to the correction and detention industry so basically it's a government supply business uh in the us he is in this business since uh, more than 45 years now oh. in all they have about 145 products in different different categories oh. up till now they had sourcing from uh, china india malaysia indonesia now since last uh, year and a half they have closed down their china sourcing and they moved to india and malaysia oh. and tooth as far as toothpaste uh, uh, their sourcing of toothpaste goes is about uh, 1.5 million dollars a year that's only toothpaste hmm huh. if you take other segments like we have uh, other segments like body care skin care hmm huh. uh, that also it's a very volume business so for them uh, the business model is uh, they are getting tenders to all the 50 states Oh. in us and uh, they have a government supply business which is into oh. the detention oh. industry so that is their model got it got it and and so now you know obviously with this one buyer you want to expand your business with him uh, and uh, you know you'll do that by going into different categories and increasing the share of wallet in each category but besides that are you also in the process of finding other such buyers in the us how is that hunt coming so that's what that's uh, that's what makes us unique there are in this industry there are about 6 to 7 such giant business houses in the us who are dealing into such products hmm. now for example for us uh, the oral care segment is critical for them because that comes under fda hmm other products uh, what they deal into say about 145 to 50 what i told you hmm. not all of them come under fda so for them it's a big challenge to have a manufacturer and supplier who is vetted and qualified by the us fda hmm. so our qualification as a supplier which is approved by the us fda is a big uh, opening for us in the entire us market for all these six buyers and make us available for uh, supplier so what happens is since uh, we are healthcare as soon as we get registered there is a flash in the us fda database oh. so there is a new supplier from the from india who is uh, registered and approved as uh, oral care supplier oh. so as soon as that uh, is posted uh, on the database uh, it is known to it's a very uh, small market there so all these all, so there is a flash and uh, we are known to people that you are available as a supplier hmm huh. so we have already started working out on our expansion plans adding hmm. new lines of uh, manufacturing and filling hmm huh. and uh, we already started planning on this got it and you said from oral care which is the next immediate next category you want to move into we are uh, next category we are moving is body care so there is an all in one uh, liquid soap hmm huh. So that is our next product uh, we are going to launch. But this wouldn't be requiring FDA approval, right? No, it does require the US FDA approval. In US, uh, anything which touches your body, okay, requires the US FDA. And 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 you know how you said that one buyer is 1.5 million is this overall purchase for toothpaste. Uh, what would be the same for uh, body care? Uh, this all-in-one uh, product. i think double than this because see, they don't they as a policy they have minimum three suppliers for each category yeah so uh, we healthcare may be one and there may be other two suppliers for this got it 
got to here yeah. again uh, uh, again the most challenging part is to get registered and uh, to get qualified for being eligible to supply in the us so all the hard work is done oh. now just have to explain it when you set up a new facility will you have to go for an fda approval again for the new facility yes how long will that process be now the process in us is if we move from one factory one facility to another facility uh, there is an audit uh, done uh, which is just a confirmatory audit which uh, is uh, posted in about 6 to 8 weeks okay perfect so that that transition should be easy enough and uh, lastly um, when are you planning on going into the market to raise your uh, preferential uh, issue by next year we should be coming out after the first quarter after first quarter okay yes perfect yes. all right thank you thank you so much thank you and the next question is from the line of shivam sharma from pcr capital please go ahead hello sir so my question was how does the company stay adaptable in introducing new products in line with market trends and in what has been the success rate of this introduction we have been handling new products to our iu range of products we are like skin care body care and hair care since we are doing uh, marketing through the uh, online platforms uh, so we are grow uh, we are growing uh, at a steady pace and hoping to get a decent uh, market by next uh, financial year oh, okay sir so uh, also what is your best selling product and specify the online platforms used for marketing and sales i would say our best uh, selling products are in oral care and hair care category and online we are on amazon we are on flipkart and uh, through our own website that is iwi.com Okay, sir. And so, what is the market demand for uh, the products, oil, shampoo, toothpaste, and the current scenario? It's about uh, 10 to 12 percent of our total revenue. Okay, sir. Uh, and sir, uh, can you shed some light on the company's export strategy? And are there any plan to expand the export market? Export strategy. Up till now, uh, we were covering uh, countries like East Africa. Uh, north america and other two other uh, merchant exporters in india now we have entered the us market by registering our own manufacturing facility and we are targeting to expand the same in coming three financial years okay sir thank you so much thank you thank you and the next question is from the line of parikshit kabra from pkd advisors please go ahead hi i'm back just last question uh, can you tell me either uh, your company level gross margins or your fixed cost either one of those two numbers for the next uh, projections no uh, currently so currently we have reported uh, about 89 lakhs uh, of uh, profit after tax sorry i'm asking for gross margins company level gross margins or your fixed cost gross margins would be approximately you can say 12% i'll i i'll read you the numbers and i'll share with you no problem uh, i would uh, if i can find a way to connect with you i would love to get in touch uh, I, i i'll give you my email or you can send me yours uh, i have it uh, send it to you Yes, if you can give me your email, that would be great. Yeah, uh, it's info at the rate weird healthcare dot net. Got it. Yeah, please do okay. share your queries, whatever you have. We'll have it replied to you. Done. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you may press star and one. to ask questions
as there are no further questions from the participants, I now hand the conference over to Ms. Chandni Chande for closing comments. Thank you everyone for joining the conference call of Veer Healthcare Limited. If you have any queries, you can write to us at research at the rate kirinadvisors.com. Once again, thank you everyone for joining the conference. On behalf of Kirin Advisors, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines.